Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report, DJI introduces V2.0 edition of the Phantom 4 Pro. King Online Drone Course customers can now study when offline too. And criminals harass federal agents with drone swarm. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. Fans of the iconic DJI Phantom Drone can look forward to the release of the Phantom 4 Pro V2.0. The P4P V2.0 uses DJI's OcuSync transmission technology for high resolution and low latency digital video transmission and improves the flight experience by reducing propeller noise by up to 60%. Users who utilize FPV for work or play can directly connect the P4P V2.0 with their DJI goggles for an immersive FPV flying experience. The drone boasts 30 minutes of flight time, 7 kilometers transmission range, 5 directional obstacle sensing system, and 1 inch CMOS sensor with 4K at 60 frame video recording capabilities. Retaining its iconic white airframe, the P4P V2.0 also has a Phantom 4 Pro Plus V2.0 version, which comes with a 5.5 inch 1080p resolution screen built into the remote controller for operators who often fly outdoors under direct sunlight. The Phantom 4 Pro V2.0 is now available for a retail price of $1,499, which includes the aircraft, battery, remote controller, four pairs of propellers, battery charger, power cable, gimbal clamp, micro USB cable, micro SD card, and carrying case. The Phantom 4 Pro Plus V2.0 retails at $1,799 and includes all P4P V2.0 accessories, but with a 5.5 inch monitor built into the remote controller. In the next drone minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. Uber CEO Dara Khosra Shahi has shown off a model of the company's concept for a VTOL flying taxi it hopes to have in revenue service in two years. Both manned and unmanned versions are planned. Khosra Shahi said the concept is to create the network around those vehicles so that regular people can take these taxis in the air for longer distances when they want to avoid traffic at affordable prices. The Drone Racing League has announced the launch of the 2018 DRL Alliance World Championship season, unveiling their new global partners, elite drone pilots, and worldwide race locations. Premiering on September 6, 2018 on ESPN, DRL's third season will be broadcast in more than 75 countries on the top sport programs in the world, including Sky Sports, ProSevenSat1, and recently announced media partner Group AB. Kansas State University Polytechnic Campus is partnering with Kansas State Department of Wildlife, Parks and Tourism to send 30 employees, including 12 law enforcement officers, through unmanned aircraft systems training from May through June. The employees will attend small UAS commercial remote pilot training and then be eligible to sit for the Federal Aviation Administration exam to become certified as remote pilots in command. While covering the 2018 rendition of AUVSI's Exponential, the ANN news team took some time to get an interview with DJI's Adam Lisberg to talk about drones as rescue tools. The fascinating interview can be found on our YouTube site at youtube.com slash aerotvnetwork and searching for AeroTV Drones to the Rescue, DJI reports on global drone rescue activity. Check it out. That was our Drone Minute, now back to the rest of the news. Aspiring drone pilots now have a convenient way to continue their studies even when they are offline by using the free King Companion app for iPad or iPhone together with the King Schools online drone pilot license test prep course. 
The app allows drone pilots who are preparing for the FAA Part 107 Remote Pilot Knowledge Test to download their lessons, including all texts, graphics, videos, and post-lesson quizzes, and take them when offline. When back online, course progress is automatically synchronized with the King servers and available from any other device. Folks taking the drone test prep course are often juggling many responsibilities while they are preparing for their tests, said Martha King, co-chairman of King Schools. Our strategy is to ensure that given 10 to 15 minutes, they can make real progress by completing a full lesson. Now they can make that progress, even when not connected to the internet, she said. The free app is available by searching King Companion in the Apple App Store. The drone pilot test prep course sells for $129. In an incident last winter in what was only described as a large U.S. city, criminals used a swarm of small drones to drive an FBI hostage team from its observation post during a hostage crisis. Joe Mazel, the head of the FBI's Operational Technology Law Unit, aid that the team has set up an elevated observation position during the hostage situation. But they soon heard the buzz of small drones, and then the aircraft swarmed around them, making several high-speed passes at the agents, forcing them to abandon their sight. We were then blind. It definitely presented some challenges, Mazel said. Maisel said that such counter-surveillance measures are the fastest-growing way that criminals are using UAVs. They are also being used for intimidation of police and civilians and for such things as robberies where a drone can help spot security gaps. Andrew Schwarnweber, Associate Chief of U.S. Customs and Border Protection, says smugglers are using drones to look for gaps in border coverage and then exploit them. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And in addition to this program, Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.